Welcome everyone, Nathaniel here. I'm so glad you're joining me for Kid Time this week. This week's Bible story is so great and I'm so excited to get started. This story is one of my favorites. It's a story that shows bravery and it shows love and it shows tons of We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming with some breaking news. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome to WFC News. I'm Bethaniel Breezen. Potty humor in the Bible seems unlikely. However, we are beginning to uncover some details that might suggest that this is not just a practical joke being played by some wacky Sunday school teachers. The suspected subject takes place in 1 Kings 18 during a confrontation involving the followers of Baal. Now with more information on who Baal is, let's go over to our WEFC News smart guy, Nathaniel Driesen. Thanks, Nathaniel. Our research shows that Baal was the popular God in Israel during the reign of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. Thank you for letting us in on that important information, Nathaniel. Reports are that God had had enough of his people worshipping Baal, so he sent a prophet. Nathaniel, do you have any information about what prophets are and who this person was? I sure do, Nathaniel. Prophets in the Bible were people who were chosen by God to speak to people for him. This prophet in this story was the prophet Elijah. I see. Very smart information from a very smart guy. We now go over to our lead reporter on this story, Bob McBobby. There are two sides to this challenge, Elijah versus the followers of Baal. The challenge was simple. Each side would build an altar and make a sacrifice. They would then call on their God to send fire from heaven to burn up the sacrifice. Elijah was nice enough to let the followers of Baal go first. They started early in the morning, worshiping and crying out to Baal for fire. For hours and hours, they danced around and called to their God, but their cries were never answered. Elijah sat back and watched as the followers of Baal danced around and called on their God. Then Elijah did something that you might expect to see at a sporting event today. He started to trash talk the followers of Baal. For more on trash talk, let's go over to smart guy, Nathaniel Driesen. Trash talk is insulting or boastful speech intended to demoralize, intimidate, or humiliate someone, especially an opponent in an athletic contest. Right. Anyway, Elijah started to yell over to the followers of Baal. Shout louder, he said. Maybe Baal is asleep and can't hear you. Then Elijah said something else. But to understand what he said, we're going to have to go back to smart guy, Nathaniel. The literal translation of Elijah's words is, maybe he has gone aside. Most Bible translations change these words to mean, maybe Baal has gone on a trip. But in the original language, gone aside is a slang phrase, and it does not mean gone on a trip. Elijah was saying, maybe Baal is on the toilet. Wow, now those are fighting words. Of course, Baal wasn't really on the toilet, and he wasn't asleep. He wasn't there at all, which was the point that Elijah was trying to make. When Elijah's turn came, he built an altar, made a sacrifice, and then had buckets and buckets of water poured all over it. Now, I'm not the smart guy, but I'm pretty sure that water and fire don't exactly mix all that well. That is correct, Bob. Water is typically used to extinguish fires, or, in other words, to put fires out. Thanks. Anyway, after Elijah had the water poured all over, he said one simple prayer, and foom! Fire fell from the sky and devoured the entire sacrifice. With WEFC News, I'm Bob McBobby. Wow, 
What a great reminder that our God is a real God. He listens, he answers prayers, and he desires to have a relationship with each of us. God will not take a back seat to false gods that we make up on our own. So, next time you sit on your throne, take a moment to thank God for the reminder that he is still on his throne. And no, I do not mean toilet. With WEFC News, I'm Bethaniel Breezen. Have a great day. We now return to your regularly scheduled programming. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow. Isn't that just amazing? Thank you so much for joining me for this emotional, heartwarming, moving time and this amazing story. <sighs> See you all next week. What do you mean my show was interrupted? You mean they didn't hear any of it?